Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ingus and I'm from IGS Electronics and today we're going to be continuing with the Mitsubishi FRD700 drive setup where we're going to be looking at uh, how to set up the drive in remote control using a uh, electronic way of controlling speeds uh, that would be like using two buttons to control speeds and also we're going to be looking at how to set up the multi frequency and things like that this is going to be our last video on this on this drive if you missed out the previous two uh, where we can run the drive in a remote control with uh, two i3 control and a potentiometer and the first video was when we set up the drive in local run and uh, set up the commission commission the motor and things like that all those uh, videos are going to be in description below and all the other related stuff like manuals parts and things like that also going to be in description below Low. And as always, before we get started, uh, I just like to want to a buy and sell of industrial electronics goods. If you're looking for parts, get in touch. If you want to sell the parts, get in touch as well. And there's ways to get in touch, like YouTube, uh, eBay, or our website, uh, website page, whichever way works for you. So, without further ado, let's get started. <laughs> Alrighty, now that all the wiring has been rearranged since our last video, so let me quickly run. If you haven't watched the last video, definitely check it out. This is where we done the 3-wire uh, and 2-wire controls with the potentiometer. Uh, but this one's going to be a little bit different and I can run you through again with the wiring. So in here, what we have in here is a station. Uh, just get those wires done probably. Uh, station like that where the RE stop will be activating uh, the S1 which pretty much shuts down the drive and then we got an up button and down button and we're gonna start stop which are uh, which are based on three wire control if you uh, missed how we done that I can see in the last video uh, the wiring it is a uh, done like a, like like a so uh, E stop we've got a uh, S1 and SD coming to uh, east of one end and uh, uh, after the after e stop the cable goes back to S1 so once the e stop is clicked as you can see it goes in error and you will be forced to reset the drive manually unless you have a reset button we talked about in the last video again and then we have a three wire system where we have our stop button in here uh, power comes to which is the, our, our uh, PC cable coming to stop button goes via the stop button and then one cable goes back to the drive and that joins up to str and str usually under normal conditions are set to run the to run the motor in reverse but we have reprogrammed that and how to do the reprogramming please check out our last video again we have reprogrammed that to be our stop signal now because we need the rl back for what i'm about to demonstrate to you and after that from the stop it goes to all the other switches and, uh, and then it goes to our start switch in here which goes back to a uh, stf to start our drive and then we got these two buttons one goes up and one goes down from rh and rm rh goes up and rm comes down speed wise and we've got another additional button which has just suddenly came out which is this button, which, which is I can't fit on the station because I literally don't have any more room on my station. And I'll show you that in a minute, ooh, what that uh, button does in RL. So uh, let me plug this wire back in and I'll show you how that works. And before we get started with our demonstration, I'll quickly show you the one parameter we need to change to achieve this goal. And the parameter is 59 and that will be on a page 95 in uh, manual page 95 manual and we need to change that to one and if you check out there's a page before it's just page 58 it sort of explains you what one two and three means i'm not going to go through that because otherwise the video is going to be dragging on the one let's go back to a uh, pu mode mode let's go to 59 and as we said, do the change 59, it reconfigures the whole uh, front uh, keypad. No, not front keypad, what am I talking about? Uh, front uh, terminals and inputs to work differently, reset differently how they works. So sort of, not, sort of like a preset for it. And I already have changed that one, and so I'm good on that one. So uh, once you've done that, you're pretty much ready to go. And the way that works... Uh, you press the start. Oh, oh yeah. Let's go external. Don't forget to be an external. Uh, by pressing the start, as you can see, 
run is flashing, it's pretty much telling me I'm on. And now he wants the frequency. And the frequency, I'm not sure which one, this one's, which one's up. There we go, that one is up. So now by holding a button, you can up your frequency with buttons. And lower the frequencies down. And it can go up again. If you don't want to have a user tensiometer, that's an excellent way to go about it. And then we can click stop again. And remember, that works only in the third uh, stop button in here. Works only in the three wire mode. Uh, and uh, again, check out the last video if you want to see how that works. And if you remember, if you see in here, if I click start again, it goes back to the last frequency. So to overcome that, the Mitsubishi has had another button which is a uh, run through RL and RL again needs a, needs a SD going through the switch and going to RL and oh sorry we're gonna try to hold the stations up, up and down up together so if I click start by clicking RL uh, it resets the whole frequency back to zero no matter what so now we just press the start as you can see, it's switching, it's ready, ready, waiting for the next frequency. And by clicking star, that's how you pretty much clear the data from the drive, what frequency was last, and the drive is pretty much back to zero. So that's how MOP, or electronic way of controlling the frequency works. Hopefully that is helping you out and uh, give you some good ideas how to set your system up at home or wherever you are setting it up. Next, let's have a look at the multi-frequency. And for the multi-frequency, we have rearranged the cables and let me show you how that's done. As you can see, I have ditched the e-stop. Uh, hopefully you already get the gist how that works and you should be using if you're not using any other external way of uh, disconnecting the motor. Uh, but for demonstration purposes, I'm no longer going to use it because I, was like, I wanted to move uh, an extra switch to my button station down here. So, ooh, something's coming out and... Um, to uh, do the multi-frequency, we need to again go back to parameter 59. We need to change back the, that back to a uh, uh, back to zero. 59 is set. Oh, zero set. So now we've done that. So uh, the wiring, how the wiring works. We are still using our three-wire system. Start and stop. Uh, to activate the multi-frequency, you need to make sure that your STF is on, or if you want to go in reverse, your STR is on. You can do it many different ways, which I already explored a few of them in, a, in a, this video and the last video. Uh, or you simply you can uh, have a selector switch, or the cable coming with the, whatever, whichever button you are uh, switching it or whichever selection you're selecting, make sure that selection sends back the signal to STF as well. Here I am using three wire system so I can activate my start signal if I am in my external mode. I can uh, activate my start signal and it, it is pretty much enabled so the drive is pretty much ready to run. It's now looking for the frequency and because we already all of these we RL and RM RH is preset, and there we go by holding. Well, this is 50, and this probably about 10. Yeah, it's my low speed, uh, high speed. There's a big mixture of the buttons, and these all these frequencies can be preset. And let me show you where they can be preset. The first ones, the first RL, RM, and RH can be done in a. Uh, four, five, what's this thing in there? Four, five, and a six, which are, uh, let's just get back to the PU. And a four, five, and a six. So in fourth set, there he has, there's a 50. Why did I just do that? Set 50, 30, and 10. But there's more frequencies. There's more than that. So by, uh, Trying to access more frequencies, by the way, you can get up to 15 frequencies from uh, from this drive. And to do that, you can have a look at the page 91. In the page 91, here's a full selection of shows you what buttons, or basically the signals, needs to be changed to achieve what speeds. So you can see, trying to get speed 4, you need to change, close RM or RL. 
And if you want to get speed 5, you need to close a uh, RH and RL. So, uh, and, and so on pretty much. So uh, that's how you pretty much, uh, these selections is allowing you to select all the way up to 15 speed. And uh, after parameter 5, as you can see down there, after that there's no more. The next part starts in 232, which we're going to do now. 232, if you haven't selected anything, haven't selected, you want to use that frequency, all those frequencies starting from 232 all the way to 239 will be at 999, which means no frequency. So we, we want to put some frequency, let's put on the fourth frequency, let's put five, why not? There you go. And for the fifth frequency, let's put that on 42. So just to demonstrate, yeah, 32, that'll do. There you go. So now we have changed those two frequencies and then now the question is, how do we get it? And one thing is because I'm mixing up the cables in there, let me quickly change the cables around so I know which button is which. And all right, that's done. And one thing I completely forgot to mention is you can get uh, all the uh, speeds all the way up to seven with R, L, R, M and R, H. But if you wanna go Further, which I uh, completely forgot to say, you need to selection called R E X. So it's pretty much telling you that your uh, SDR needs to be selected to number eight, which is R E X. As a uh, reprogram, basically, you reprogram the SDR to R E X. So that gives you that extra frequency you can select down there, which you're not going to be doing in this video. So, uh, but just to uh, let you know, and if you do want to go more than uh, uh, seven frequencies, that's quite a lot of frequencies actually, then uh, you need to use R E X if you want. But for this demonstration purposes, we are going to be using a R L R M R X. And I E as well made the mistake of from which point the frequencies starts after a uh, four and four, uh, four and a five and a six but after that the frequency four, four five six seven starts from 24 all the way to 27 so that's exactly what we, were, what we are already did all right okay or if you want to check out the manual whichever frequency you want to change and see which one is which but to demonstrate how that works now uh, so to select what was the selection for that uh, for the speed 4, we need to select RM and RL, RL, so RM and RL will be, let's start up that, uh, the drive, yeah, we are on, and we, by selecting that, that's 15, I which I already have, I have selected it, and to select a 5th speed, we need to go for the RH and RL, so it's going to be that and that, that should give us something like 30 something, yeah, 36, 30, so usually, Usually, you would use a, some form of selector switch or PLC or whichever control systems you are using. It will work. So this is the I'm using buttons for demonstration purposes only. So just to show you how the gists are working. And that, ladies and gentlemen, will be it for this video and for this drive. And hopefully, it's giving you a good insight how to set this drive up and, and things like that, and then get you where you want to get pretty much and uh if you liked the video smash that like if you didn't smash that dislike uh comment below what you like what you don't like and uh whatever you want to comment comment and uh thank you very much for watching and that'll be it as i said already that'll be it for this drive we're gonna be moving on to our next challenge so uh thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next video